point of this video is to explain how to get rid of a float tree in the SSD 600 LS. On this picture we have the float tree over here on the left and we have the pump here on the right. This compartment is accessed through a round port on the top of the system. To remove these two components, first let's start with the pump. First open the cam lock up here and then slowly remove the pump being careful as it is covered in sewage to the top of the tank. Secondly, we have our float tree here on the left. That can just be snapped out of the small saddle tee on the side here and pulled out of the system as well. So this is what the float tree is going to look like when it comes out of the system. Um, these will maybe anywhere on the float tree. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to remove these hose clamps so that these floats can be removed from the system. Easiest way to do this is with a screwdriver or a 5 16 hex head. So this is what a lift station pump comes looks like when it comes out of the system, though this one is very clean and yours probably will not be. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at the piece of paper that was provided to you and will be displayed at the bottom of this screen. This is the lift station pump, so we're going to look at all the dimensions that are on this right hand side here. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to make marks where our pump floats are going to be. It's important to measure from the bottom of the pump. So I'm going to take my tape measure. First one's at 10 and a half inches. Measure from the bottom, 10 and a half, make a line. My second one, the high water alarm float, is at 16 inches, make a line. So, this gray float is your pump switch. So this is going to be the first one on because it is the lowest down on the pipe. So first thing we want to do is make sure that this plastic is done correctly. So, it should be as you just took it off the last pipe, but we want to make sure it goes through here so that it will be affixed perpendicular to the pipe and then we have this wire that goes through and we want to make sure that the wire goes vertical. So first thing we do is we find where that pump float went. I have my mark down here. I place this on the pump or on the pipe and I am going to affix it with another stainless steel pipe clamp. At this point, let's just keep it relatively snug, but we'll worry about orientation later. So, the second one we're going to do is the high water alarm float. This is more angled and normally black, and this goes above. So, our second mark is at 16 inches. We're going to set this up in the same way, and it is important to note that this uh, wire is vertical and aiming upward because we want to run these wires up the side of the pipe. So the last step that we want to do is we want to make sure that these tether links are the right size and we want to make sure that these floats are angled the right direction as opposed to the pump. So, first thing we want to do is we look at our sheet and we see that all the tether links are supposed to be three and a half inches. So, they should be correct coming out of the pump or out of the float tree, but let's check them just to make sure. So I have three and a half inches on this one and three and a half inches on this one. So they are both good, but we do want to make sure of that. Second thing we want to do is we want to look at orientation. So looking at that piece of paper, which will be displayed at the bottom of the screen, we're going to look at our top view for the lift station pump, since this is the lift station. So looking at the square float, which is representative of this pump float, we see that it is 90 degrees off from this top cam fitting. So we want it to come out of the side of the pipe at that 90 degrees. So I'm going to kind of turn this here so it's coming out at that direction. Now I know that this is good and I will tighten this one down. It is also important to note that all of these pipe clamps do need to be stainless steel as anything else will corrode. Moving on to our high water alarm that is has the kind of angled back on this piece of paper. Um, we see that it's 45 degrees off from this one. So likewise, we're just going to kind of move it. It's about 45 degrees, and we're going to tighten it down. Now that everything is in the right orientation, you can just run these wires up here. Uh, you may want to use a pipe clamp up here to hold them onto the pipe as well. And then this can be dropped back into the lift station compartment. Make sure that the cam fitting at the top here is closed all the way and your old float tree can be discarded. So like the lift station compartment, the other compartment we have to do is the effluent compartment. So as you can see we have our effluent pump here that is connected 
by a cam fitting right up here. And then in the back here we have our float tree. So you're going to follow the exact same steps that we did for the lift station compartment except on this piece of paper we have the effluent pump here on the left. So in terms of uh, distances from the bottom of the pump we're going to use these and in terms of orientation we're going to use this top view here.